Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Today I'm going to show you how to do product pictures if you have a small business, a big business, however. Just how to take product pictures at home. And I'm going to show you guys what you need and like the techniques I use to take my pictures for my bracelets. So yeah. So I'm going to show you guys what you would need for product pictures. First, you would need something to take pictures with. I have a Nikon D5600. Um, you don't have to use a camera, but I find that the pictures look clearer and like more centered when you have a camera. Then you need some background. Shh, Jace. And I use these. I got the, my mom got these from Michaels. I just have the backgrounds, um, not the box right there. So, yeah, I just have these. I'll try to find the link below. These are like all the different ones they have. Of course, I only use like two of them. So then you will need your product. These are the bracelets I just made. Probably saw them in my previous video. It's the Christmas ones. And this cute pink one with the heart. And then I also made some waist beads. I actually just made this one. And fixed this purple one. And then you will need a ring light. Um, It's pretty bright. A ring light. Don't mind my mess over there. So yeah. So this is basically what this set up. So I just pick a background color. Um, and then I just get another one and turn it to the white side. Since I do it on my desk, um, I don't know if this would Jace. I don't know if this would turn out turn up turn out that good since I only have the ring light and no natural light. Usually I have natural light coming from my window, but yeah. So I'm just gonna put this on the background like that. Set up how I want my bracelet product to go. And that's basically it. Then I take the pictures. And I'll show you guys how I do that and like what settings I have my camera on. So yeah. So like don't mind my hair. But a recap of everything you will need is lighting. Good lighting because you don't want your pictures to be dark. A cute background. And depending on your product, some people take their pictures outside. But if you're doing something like lip gloss or something like that, that goes on people's face, I don't think you would want to put it on the ground. So you would want to put it like inside. Some people do like fluffy blankets. That's cute too. You will need a camera and your product. Basically, it's only four things. Um, so yeah. Now on to what my camera settings is on. So I like to take my pictures when it's like this so I have to look through the viewfinder not like not like this because I feel like I don't get it as like clear if that makes sense I don't know this is probably easier but I like doing it in this view so I can like go like this so yeah take it like that and I'll comment I will not comment I'll put in the description like basic camera videos that I learned from but I also learned from my grandma that's a photographer so yeah it's just like trial and error figure out how you like your pictures if you like your pictures to have a blurred background or all just clear and focus all of it so then you just set up your product um I suggest putting the camera flat on the table so you can get like right in the middle and get it like all centered and stuff it just basically depends on your preference. I'm gonna like kneel like this. This is weird, but that's what I gotta do. And then you wanna get your light as close as possible so you have no shadows. And my ring light is kinda broken, so. Now I'm gonna go like this. And with the, um, another tip with the camera, when you press down on your button, you don't want to press down all the way. You just want to press down to it focuses. 
and like zoom in so you can't see the little things in the background so you want to make sure it looks good in the viewfinder and then you press down and you want the little blocks to be right in the center of what you want to be really clear So this was my first picture. I kind of hold my breath when I do it because I don't want it to be shaky like this. You notice it's like a tad bit blurry. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna get as close as possible. So that I like and like you could always edit it or on your phone but I take my pictures in raw not in JPEG or nothing like that so I'm done with that one next I'm gonna do the Christmas ones hey I'm sure it's too much going it's puff I would just be right back when I'm done taking the pictures and I'll show you another way I take the pictures like a different um what's this called position pose for the my products so yeah <laughs> basically done with those usually it would take me way longer because i'll be taking pictures of way more stuff but so now i'm gonna put on my product so like if you have lip gloss or eyelashes you will put them on and take a picture of them on yourself so this is how i do braces i just put it on my wrist like this and have my camera like right here and put the light real close and just take it like this so like your, your consumer can see it on and like have an idea of if that would look right on them just like if you're taking like ordering online clothes you see it on like the model and then you're like oh that would be cute on me too so basically that's it so this is basically the end of the video if you want to check out my beads instagram page is rise up beads all lowercase and yeah we have tons of different designs and all my bracelets have a meaning behind them hence the name rise up beads i made this to put positivity out there because i know the world can be kind of negative and sorry the ring lights in my glasses and it's important to have some kind of positivity like something to remind you to stay positive also this is the app i use to get my pictures off my nikon to my phone to post them on my instagram and usually for like so i'll just add in here like when i post my pictures i usually put a bible verse or a quote that goes to my like the background of the bracelet so the person that wants to buy it can know exactly what the bracelet is meant for or like what it's meant for or they can put their own meaning behind it i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to comment like and subscribe and comment more small business video ideas like or anything or how-to tutorials anything that's for ashy and yeah bye guys